Cry of the Mummy can be best described as Ultraman's take on the story of Frankenstein, a monster brought to life only to go on a murderous rampage until it's taken down. One day, a few scientists have unearthed a 7,000-year-old mummy. Wanting to know about the secrets within it, the mummy's body is brought back to their lab for testing. However, the mummy comes to life after being electrocuted and begins going on a rampage, killing everyone in its sight, and it's up to the science patrol to take it down before it can kill any more people. As you can see, the plot's very Frankenstein-esque in tone, but the main differences are that there's no mad scientist and there's no sympathy shown for the monster in question, until the episode's ending, leading to a rather predictable story and outcome. As for characterization, rather than save him for the Monster of the Week segment, the only notable character in this episode would have to go to the Mummy, who's played off as both a hybrid of Frankenstein's monster and a slasher villain, which is okay, I guess. But if there's any props I do have to give him, it's that he's sort of the precursor to how the aliens in Ultra 7 are handled throughout the series. But that's another show for another time. Apart from the mummy though, small props also has to be given for Ide for inventing a pretty useful weapon in fighting Kaiju. Pity he never used it again in the show. Effects are pretty average as a whole, be it the mummy's revival or Dodongo's rampage, but nothing else really sticks out here. And speaking of which, Dodongo unfortunately comes off as rather lousy. His being in the episode as a whole is sort of an asshole, as it seems he's in here only for the sake of being something for Ultraman to beat up in the end. That aside, if there's anything really to give him, it's that he's the first quadruped monster to not crawl on his hands and knees, but that really doesn't do the monster justice. In the end, unless you really want to see some early foreshadowing for how Ultra 7 is handled, or Japan's take on The Mummy, Cry of the Mummy is another filler episode that you won't miss much if you skip it. If anything, it would have been better off as Ultra Q material. Shwake!